Hello everyone, Cheryl here from the Naughty Nitty Cousins podcast, along with my cousin. Hi, I'm Tammy. And we're here to talk all things mostly nitty. Uh, there's a few other crafts that may pop up from time to time. Welcome. Hope you uh, enjoy your stay with us today. And uh, we're grateful that you are joining us. I'm from Alberta, Canada. And Tammy... I'm is... coming to you from uh, Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. Yeah. So I guess we might as well get started. It's a relatively nice day here today, even though I'm wearing something really hot. <laughs> How's the weather in your, uh, where you are, Tammy? I woke up to the most, I'm just looking out my window here, woke up to the most beautiful hoar frost on the trees. It's a light snow. I I love these types of winter days. To me, it's a perfect winter day, although I spent a good part of my morning shoveling, but hey, that's what happens when you live here. <laughs> I, I, I think we should have our outfits reversed by the looks of it. So what yeah. are you wearing? What are you wearing? Today I am wearing my ranunculus, and it is by um, uh, Mar 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 Midori Hiroshi. <laughs> uh, this was actually, I think, the very first sweater I ever knit. Couldn't remember if this it was this or my ranunculus, or my, sorry, my weekender. But I knit this with uh, Tannis Fiber Arts, a fingering held with a mohair. I don't remember the colorway. Of course, I wasn't keeping track of things back then, but um, I absolutely love this. And I think it's going to be another knit for me using my I, um, holst. <laughs> I really like that. And I like that color on you as well. Oh, it looks really thanks. nice. You can see that the halo. Oh, it's got a that. beautiful, beautiful halo. Look at that. Yeah. The mohair is just amazing by Tannis. I love her. Uh, her yarn is amazing. Nice, nice. And what are you wearing? I am wearing, I have to find it here, there we go, an Alfos Lopi. So it's made from the Alfos Lopi. It doesn't have a name. And it's got the color work. It's got down here the, this is my very first color work I ever did. And um, is it warm? <laughs> I've worn it outside, minus 20 Celsius with just a t-shirt and a long sleeve shirt because I do find it a little scratchy. Bit of an itch factor. Yeah, it's 100% wool. And um, is it ever warm? But yeah, my first color knit. The, it's got the hairiness to it. Mm -hmm. So I do find the, the fuzz comes off. I bet you that doing that as your first color work in a thicker wool was awesome. A lot oh, easier was... to color work. It, it was toothy and it just, it worked really good. The floats are perfect. Like there's no tightness, nothing. Highly well, recommend. Like with the woolly wools, you can do the spit splicing when you have to join your colors or add a new ball. Yeah, I don't know if I knew about that back then. No. This is one of my, say my third sweater maybe. Okay. And it fits well, the best. That's awesome. I'm really pleased with this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So... What exact? I think you're you're knitting away on something, but we'll talk about that in a bit. Um, <laughs> finished objects. What have you finished, or have you finished anything? I just finished two. Um, Christmas was a very busy season for me. Seems like you never have anything to do all spring, fall, and summer, and then all of a sudden Christmas comes and everybody wants to go on dinner dates. So I did a lot of <laughs> dinner dates, but nothing wrong anyways, with that. It was hard. My husband's uh, wool socks that I made him. These, oh, nice. This is the one that you posted the picture of in your <laughs> uh, blog. Because I say knitting socks for his, I think he's a size 11 or 12 foot, is like knitting two arms, two sleeves for a sweater. So I could have knit <laughs> half a sweater. But um, it was the, what do you have? The Maritime Wool Socks by Sand and Sky Creations. So you can see here. Nice. Fabulous pattern, quick knit. I used Briggs and Little. I don't remember the colorway, but I don't have the band, but uh, it was a great sock and he absolutely loves them. They'd be nice and warm. Yeah. By the looks. So like they're fairly thick, are they? Yeah, yeah, they're a thick woolly wool. So, nice. Yeah, that's one of my nice. finishes. Nice. 
I have a finish. Okay. And it is, I was using a scrap yarn, so I've been trying to, I'll talk about that later in the podcast, but I had some leftover Leo and Roxy Ooh. yarn. I have not blocked these yet. I just finished them last week, I guess. Um, yeah, so I use Leo and Roxy yarn. This is 64 stitches on the needles, and I just did a three by one rib on the top and a uh, kind of a German short row heel. And uh, what did I do? Two by two rib up on the, the cuff. I always do mine toe up. Hmm. So yeah, I got these done and they're soft. Yeah, they're, that's a fabulous yarn. I love their yarn. Yeah, I don't, uh, I'm out of the sock or their, their yarn on a hmm. bigger scale. So you got two pair of socks out of one set yes yes nice i got yeah out of the 100 gram for this i got two pairs this one's a little bit shorter than the first mm -hmm. pair and i had to buy two separate minis for the heel toe and cuff because i didn't have enough they're 20 gram and i only end up like with a tiny ball at the end mm -hmm. it was too tiny to do anything with really nice and how about you? Well, Oops. my last finished object. So this is the second pair of the um, I'm just winter walk the mittens. There we go. By Leanne Lang. So that's that. Oh, those ones nice. I got to make those. I can't recommend this enough. So what is really cool with these? They're really they're double thick because you knit. There's the inside mitten. So you knit the outside and then you pick, go and you um, knit the inside. The only thing I bought a, a set for the mittens and I met, I got through one full set and then I didn't have enough to finish the <laughs> top and the thumb. That's, well, that's how short okay. the ball was, but you can't see the inside anyways, but I think it looks neat anyhow. I'd wear it that way on the outside just for something different. <laughs> yeah. No, they're um so I've I gifted the red pair to a friend and then these are going to uh one of my daughter's friends. So I think he'll uh well I he knows about them. I had kinda had to get his hand size. So he tried on the first mitten for me before I started the second one. So have I, you knit a pair for yourself yet? No, I won't. <laughs> I've got no. so many. I don't like they're okay to shovel in, but I don't. I don't know. I like leather gloves or whatever for for driving. Yeah, but, they're stickier on the on the steering. Yeah, wheel. the steering wheel. And um, but if for shoveling, I have a couple of different pair already that I made. But um, and I kind of want to start a few other things. I'm I'm kind of done with mittens for the season, so <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. That's mm -hmm. fair. So I don't have any other finished objects because I've been busy sewing on a quilt. And I finally have finished 16 of this style of block. Oh, beautiful. And I started after I got back from my Christmas vacation on this block. And so I've been working furiously to try and get my quilt done so I can kind of move on to other things. It, it's a, it's a, it'll probably take me a year to get it done, but I do knit in between. So that's kind of other finished objects for me. Ooh, nice. So you're, you're knitting away there. I am. <laughs> I see. Yeah. So what, are, what whips are you working on? I am currently working on, this is, and I'm in the middle of a row, of course, the, uh, <laughs> Vanilla latte sock, Ooh, and I don't I remember. That. I don't remember who. Um, I guess I could kind of do this. I don't remember who the designer was, but uh, the wool I'm using is, and of course it fell. Oh, there it is. <laughs> fell and rolled away. Uh, yes. Don't have I had one time. roll of. I had a ball of roll, wool fall on an airplane and it started to roll under my seat down oh. the aisle. 
<laughs> Ever since then, I've learned to put it in a project bag. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I'm using the uh, West Shore spinners. Oh, this nice. Is the signature sparkle. I could see right. the sparkles. I thought that was cool. Yeah, I kind of started these at Christmas, but I had all these aspirations to do so many things, and I gave up and just knit a few little things. I just didn't have time, no time at all this Christmas. But um, let's see if I can do this. This is nice wool to work with. Pardon this, the needle. So there's the, that's a vanilla nice. latte. Yeah. I like I that. the sparkle. Yeah. So I'll wear I these all too. year, unless I get so, some. Assignment. What's the uh, wool content of that? Yeah, and it's the um, vintage tinsel is the colorway, and it's 75% wool, 23 nylon, and 2 polyester. Oh, okay. So how many pairs of socks do you think you'll, or do you, or do you just knit well, one and done? Well, one for me. I'll, um, I don't know. I should have waited before I started. I have no idea how many I'll get out of this. I'm okay. guessing. Well, two for sure. If I do a longer. And uh, short or whatever. Like yeah. two, so. But yeah, that's. I like that. One of the whips. I, this wool's nice to work with, too. Except. Well, I'll have to show you. So I, I'm having a hard time seeing stitches now, um, especially with the darker wool. And, well, when you get around with the red, the, the cable's red on my needle, so I have a hard time seeing that, too. But uh, it's, I'll slog away at this. You need a nice, bright, white fluorescent or daylight Actually, fluorescent light. Speaking of which, I have these. Oh, you wear them around your neck. My husband got them for me. I don't want to blind everybody, but you turn them on. And then you can also adjust the brightness of them. Nice. And that helps me a million. Like it's made a huge difference in my life. So these these are a godsend and they're rechargeable, which is awesome, too. Perfect. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> he took my pity of me because I was really struggling. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good, good. And what's one so, of your whips? One of my whips is socks, like normal, but I did something a little different. I'm just got to pull this out. So I'm working on, let me just uh, actually have this be on my banner. Here's the pattern. Oh, I've got to find the camera. <laughs> oh, is that ever a nice pattern? And it's cables. And the sock will look like this. Oops, get that. Sorry oh, nice. For glare. I'm gonna go higher though, because I, I I personally like higher socks. And the wool I'm using for these is Craft House Magic. I bought this wool, I don't know, a couple of years ago. And it's called I'll Be There For You. She always names her wool after so songs. And it was a sock pack. And it's 7525 Superwash Merino. There is 100 grams in here, so I'm probably going to get another pair out of this. Uh, I think this was 20 grams, the purple, so I probably will have to find something else to coordinate with another another pair. Or put it in something else or whatever. So are the cables, are you using a cable needle or going without? I'm using a cable needle because okay. these things were, uh, I'll, I'll talk about that in my uh, stash enhancements. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I can't hold, especially this small. I, yeah. I was struggling, so I had to uh, go to the store. Yeah. And get a cable needle, and I will show the one I got. It's just this one here. Okay, yeah, I like the square because it kind of lays flat. Yes, I I was in the states when I was started these. Actually, I started them before I left, but I had started the cables when I was down there, and I was trying to use a tapestry needle. Mm -hmm. So I went. 
and got cable needle, which yep. I couldn't find up here. But anyhow, that's so that's one of my whips. How about you? Do you have anything else on the needles? I have one other thing that I'll show. I've kind of got a couple, but I think I'm going to frog them. So I am just working on the sock head hat, something simple. I uh, wanted something that was easy to knit on through Christmas when, you know, as a family for visiting or dinner or whatever. So it's just the sock head hat. I'm using Lockbriar. She's in um, Nova Scotia. She's a cat. I watched her vlog all Christmas. Kelly, I think her name was. It's terrible. I can't remember. Anyways, this is her yarn. Oh, nice. nice. Yeah. So I was going to make socks, but I thought the color was too nice to uh, hide, hide in my shoes. So I'm making the sock head hat. And I think I'm going to carry some mohair with it Ooh, after I'm done with nice. the band. I kind of thought of it after, but I but I didn't want to rip all this out right away. So I'll add it next. But the sock head hat, I don't know if I have a picture of it here. I might. It's just mindless knitting. Oh, and I just have a black and white picture, but it's a slouchy hat. Oh, nice. That'll be nice. Yeah, oh, just figuring. Yeah. So. Cool. I've made a couple of these for friends. So this, this one I hope probably will keep for myself. Nice. And I'm using Addies, which I like these needles, but they're not my favorite. I still like the chow goo because the tip's sharper. But you know, I, I actually like the tips of the Addies, but I like the cable on the chow goos better. I don't mm -hmm. know. Sometimes the tips on the chow goos are a little too pointy, but I mm -hmm. think I've got a nice callus forming. So I'm not a pusher, it. so. Well, I, I knit continental, so I kind of yep. push a bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And do you have any other whips? I do. I haven't touched this since November. Well, December before I went away. I have my Autumn League. Oh. Pullover. Done. <laughs> I'm having trouble with the camera. <laughs> I don't know where it is. There it is. Oh, well, on. Move mountains on that. Yeah, and I'm enjoying it. I have to, I wanted to knit just a little bit longer and try it on again. Yeah. Make sure it's okay around the bust area. We're not, well, just make sure it's fitting okay. Because um, I don't want to do the whole thing and then go, oh. <laughs> but I am enjoying it and... You know, if I got this done, I would love wearing it. It's so soft. Have you started yours? Nope. <laughs> now that's, that's the problem when I work full time and work a second job, and I just oh, I know. no time. I'm just but, bugging now. <laughs> yeah, but it's in my. I've got it sitting here to show as one of my uh, future knits. I was going to cast on uh, New Year's Eve. But I, we were entertaining, and I, uh, I couldn't. I had to be started already, and in a spot that I'm just straight knitting. So, yeah, no, I get that. I didn't. Uh, when I was gone, I got very little knitting done as well, socializing and going out playing cards at night. And, you know, mm -hmm. takes up time. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, um, why don't we talk about stash enhancements? Seeing as I already kind of. Sure. Started that little. Oh, did you have anything else you're working on? I nope. apologize. I don't. <clears throat> nope. Okay. Well, why don't you do your stash enhancements? And mine are um, very small, but yeah, I don't have a whole lot either. But this is um, actually it was a Christmas gift. A girlfriend oh, cool. gave me. So her and I, she wants to learn to crochet too. So this will be something that we're going to do together. She bought herself one, so we're going to sit cute. and. Learn how to crochet with these, so I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> that looks like fun. It's finished, and it's not too large a project either. So, 
And it comes with the uh, stuffing and everything? Everything. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Yeah, it says there everything that it comes with. Oh, and a YouTube video, too, or a video mm -hmm. of some sort. Nice. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to that. It'll be fun. It's cute. Yeah. Little reindeer, his little. <laughs> I think that's adorable. I like the packaging, yeah. the whole bit. Yeah. No, so I'm looking forward to that. That's something we're going to do the next Good. couple of weekends. Well, probably after my trip, but we'll maybe sneak something in. I don't know. Yeah. 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 When are you going again? I can't remember. I leave February 2nd and don't get okay. back till the 17th. Okay. So. Okay. Good, good. Any other stash enhancements? Uh, just one other. I went to the, well, I don't know if anybody watching has ever heard of the um, Great Western Agribition that happens once a year in Saskatchewan, in Regina. Huge event. And I really yeah, enjoy walking around through the, the different, they have a marketplace set up. So, I came across a local alpaca farm, and so it's Creekside Alpacas. Oh, nice. And I bought some alpaca Ooh. yarn, and I, of course, I wound it up already. So it's that really so soft, bulky <laughs> and soft, and it's so nice. So I'm hoping to, I don't know, it might be. Might have to alter the pattern a bit. I think this wool's too bulky for it, but I want to do the uh, bandana cowl with it. I think you should have no problems, Tammy, because so, I, I think you'd be able to adjust that based on. Yeah, I'll just take, as I did start it and it was way too big. So I'll no. just adjust the number of stitches. Yeah, I think it'll be, be a nice that. quick knit. Beautiful yeah. yarn, really nice. And I'm supporting local. That'd be soft around the neck, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, head warm for the weather we have here. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I have some stash enhancements. So, sorry, I'm just going to carefully bring this over. So, as I was talking about, I needed some cable needles because I didn't realize my sock pattern needed them. I do have some wooden straight ones, but I do prefer these where they hang down a bit. So this is Clover, and it was a package of three. And you know, I've been trying to find these up here, and I haven't been able to. Michael, I might be looking in the. I might have been looking in the wrong spots. Mm -hmm. And then, I also bought some new Clover protectors. The I only had one pair, and they were the ones that you gave me probably a year, two years ago. And they were <laughs> needles pointed through the no. the tip. They were part of that, um, that kit. blue multi. Yep, yep. Best yeah, that that rubber, kit. you just kind of can blow through that soft rubber. Yeah. So I bought some of those. And <laughs> there was a reason for my video yesterday. I bought some oh, thin crochet your... thread. Oh, cool. I'm not going to tack, but I also needed some little crochet needles. Because I've wanted, not that I want them, I've just wanted to try to make a doily. <laughs> don't ask me. I Don't ask. I don't know. I'm not sure I'd put the doily out, but I've, I've always just wanted to try it and see what what came of it. <laughs> you're, you're channeling your inner Grandma Riker. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Or my great grandma Larson. I don't know which one, but uh, yeah, it's. Uh, I don't know. I just wanted to try it, so I thought, well, why not? And being as I was in the store, I actually had only gone in for my these, and then I walked out with the rest. But yeah, we never just walk walk out with the one thing we went for. No, never, never. But it was a reasonable price, and I thought, well, why not? So that's why I got into those crochet books. Mm -hmm. But I did have a good chuckle over a lot of them. <laughs> no, any, any bring, other? Any? Oops, sorry. Brings back lots of memories that those crocheted books. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I sure do. It was fun. Yeah. Um, 
any other stash enhancements for yourself? No, but later today there will be, I can guarantee you that. Why is that? Uh, our yarn shop is having a pop-up for mid-knit cravings. Uh, she's a local oh. dyer here, so um, I do need uh, another set of needles. I'm hoping they have them because last time they were out of stock, but I'll probably end up coming home with a skein or two. Well, hopefully. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Not that so I need any more, as you can tell, but hey. Uh, sometimes <laughs> you just, if it's there and it's fitting the, fits your, piques your interest. I don't know what the yep. word I'm looking for is. You got to exactly. go for it. You might not mm -hmm. see it again. Uh, future knits. Do you have, what's, what do you have for future knits? I have, well, that bent down a cowl, but I, I didn't get my, well, I had great aspirations again at Christmas. I thought I was going to make myself Advent um, socks. I was, had planned on making, making those, but okay. that, didn't, that didn't come to fruition, but I think what I'm going to do is either those a section a month for two pair, like one pair of mm. socks. So, or I also have this pattern. This is Natalie from Remembrance Pottery. Oh, yes. So then I would just do a band a month here as well. So I might combine the two. I don't know because I like them both a lot. So I just have to decide. Uh, which yeah. one I want to do. So that's what I did start, though. Um, what was the other off. one again? The, uh, the Advent. Is that last year's or 2020? I think I uh, have that one. 2022. I might have that one as well on my Ravelry. Yeah, it's Nutcracker socks. So, and I thought about doing these just all in one color, too, instead of, or two colors, I guess, instead of all the multicolors. But mm -hmm. I've got quite a few, um, quite a few mini skeins that I could use up. But I did start uh, here somewhere. Like, I've got the bags. The oh, bags okay. Yeah. Of minis, but. So, there's. Quite a few here, and I did get the cuff started, but oh, here somewhere, here it is. I haven't, uh, I didn't get too far on it, so that's uh, one thing that I think I'll do is just in between projects, like a palette cleanser, just do a strip each month. That's a good idea. Mm hmm Cool. And what's one of your future knits? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm thinking, and I'll show you here in a second. So I'm thinking of trying Stephen West's painted by painting by bricks, I think. Well, I didn't socks. know he had those in socks. Oh cool. He's actually doing he's actually doing a sock thing this year where once a month socks will come out. I don't know if I'm gonna I I don't know if I'm going to do them all or just, but I'm thinking instead of doing my vanilla socks, I have a full sock drawer. I thought maybe I should start to do fancier socks. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. But I have, and now I don't have a huge stash, but I do have a stash of leftover yarns. And that's where I thought, oops, <laughs> I could do the <laughs> falling all over, <laughs> do the painting by brick socks just to use up little ones. Like I've got a little bit of that, a little bit of that, you know, just some Christmassy style, you know, just yep. different ones just to kind of get through that stash a little bit so that's kind of one of my thoughts but i really don't have any hard and fast plans um, yeah that's uh 
I like that painted. I think it's painted brick. The, it's got the shawl and the sweater and a hat. And I never saw the socks, though, but that, those will be nice. Yeah, he released those, I believe, in December. Is when okay. They came out. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So I'm thinking I should try something like that. I wouldn't mind some trying some color work. Uh, anything else on your future plans? Uh, just my, uh, my um, on week. So, mm -hmm. and that one is with, uh, when I have it in my, my gray cup, uh, oh, bag, cool. but we, uh, took in a couple of the activities downtown and they gave us that bag with, uh, some treats in it. So that was kind of cool, but I'm using the cotton jeans lion brand. Yeah. And then the colorway is, uh, what's it called? It's number 1667. I can't read it. I don't know. It's gray. Anyways, does that surprise you? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's like me and my blue. I don't think that surprises you. But I think I might. I, I think I'm going to probably cast that on. I haven't swatched. I don't know if I'll swatch. I've never, well, I guess I have swatched. I swatched for, yeah, I swatched for both my sweaters. So I'll probably I, maybe do a swatch. I did do a swatch. I didn't do a full swatch, but I did a, I did a bit of a swatch. Did you watch make it? Sure. I did mm. not. Mm. I kind of looked at it and I thought, okay, I was, if I used one needle, I was over. If I used another, I was under. I think it was by one stitch each way or something like it wasn't major. And so I took the one that was over and I thought cotton, if it shrinks a bit, I'll just be careful. I'll try and be careful. That's why I want to try it on. Yeah. I'll get a better feel for it once I try it on again. Yep. Yeah. I don't know. I thought if I do a swatch, I'll just start with the sleeve first, knit the sleeve and that well, I always, idea. I wash. Sorry if you can hear Suey barking, there must be, <laughs> somebody else it's friday it could be the mailman yeah. um I, pr I will probably i've always washed my swatches so i'll see you'll see how ambitious i am yeah I, I don't think i've ever washed a swatch i because I, I know with kinda, this i just want to go <laughs> this one really bloomed and i had to go down a size when i made this one. Oh, okay it got quite a bit larger and the same with my weekender it puffed up so yeah i don't know what will happen with cotton if it goes too big i'm okay with that because i can shrink it if it's cotton yeah. you know when it's cotton yeah if it's too small then i don't know mm -hmm. well I let's see you said you tried it on already i did just up to about here so you just can to probably see how get it, it fit on the shoulders I, but i, yeah. I got a kind of get down a bit farther i'm ready to try it on again i just haven't as of yet yeah. but okay. you know just by that initial try on maybe what it's going to do yeah i was happy with the neckline mm -hmm. it looked like sorry i gotta take this off soon um it does get itchy around mm -hmm. the, but uh yeah we'll see i'll, I'll try it on again and and check that out I'm yeah. also trying to still figure out what I'm going to make with my yarn advent. My mind is thinking more along the lines of a cardigan, a striped cardigan mm -hmm. with all the different colors. When I counted up the yarn, there's 20, 25 skeins, mini skeins of 20 grams each. So I've got 500 grams. And then if I did a contrasting color in between, or a, a neutral color of some sort. I don't know, 50 grams, I don't think would be enough. But if I had another 100 grams, I think I'd have enough for a, a cardigan style sweater, maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I can't decide. I, and then I think, well, maybe a blanket's better suited, something like the painting bricks or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, if you do stripes, you'd have a, a solid main color in between, too, to fill it in. Yeah. Yeah, and then kind of have that as my winter Christmas, because it is more Christmassy colors, but mm -hmm. I don't know. I haven't figured that out. I love doing yeah, the yarn I... advents, but it's kind of what do you do with it? And they did provide a pattern, but it's not going to use the full skein of yarn. 
And I don't know if I personally want a bunch of leftovers or not. Like I'm just, I haven't quite figured that out. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I didn't do an advent because I didn't know that I'd like the pattern that went with them and what do you do? So the only advent I had was I just walked into my kitchen and opened random cupboards and ate what was inside. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing that at the same time. But, <laughs> <laughs> but you can even do like, those uh, socks that I've been doing. That well, that's what I was thinking, because 20 grams, I mean, I could get a pair of uh, socks out of three. Skating. Well, this, um, Natalie, at Remembrance Pottery, too, I don't know if it was last year, I, I saw a pattern where you make a large Christmas stocking with um, Advent skeins. I thought that was pretty neat. It's a nice size Christmas stocking. I think that would be great, but I'm pretty bad at decorating. <laughs> when I'm when it's just me, I maybe bring out one or two. I don't know. I mm -hmm. like the idea. It's an awesome idea. Yeah. I, I don't know. I got to figure out when I when the right thing comes along. I'll know. Yeah. Yeah. So that's about all I had. Um, yeah, that's all I had. Just. Just picking away at a few things and yeah. you reading after. anything at all or um I am a girlfriend at work and I started uh reading Great Expectations and oh, we cool. were just going to um talk about it as we go. She reads rather fast. I'm I'm a slow reader. I well again, I don't have a whole lot of time. So when I have spare time I kinda like to knit or watch TV, whatever, but I'm enjoying the book a lot. Yeah. And uh, Charles Dickens' writing is amazing. His very descriptive. And, but the, you know, the, the way they talk back in whatever year that book was written, it takes you a while to figure out. But now I finally my, got a feel for how the writing goes and I'm quite enjoying it. So that's. Yeah, you, uh, do. you do have to get in the mind, right mindset to read yeah. the books from that back in those days yeah but it's yeah. uh very descriptive so I, i'm enjoying it good 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 and how about you yeah i read uh i like spy and nonfiction. anyhow this one came out i think this fall uh it's ben mcintyre prisoners of the castle called it oh cool. anyhow, it talks about prisoners of war um and then trying to escape and, and all that. It was actually, it was a really good nonfiction book. I like Ben McIntyre's writing, so. But, uh, yeah, it was it was interesting. Good. But uh, uh, I find my reading, I enjoy reading, but I'd rather, like you, be knitting or sewing, or I'd rather be doing something, whereas when I read, it's kind of, I have to read. I can't do other stuff. Yeah, I wish I could do audio books, but I just, because you, know, you could kill two birds with one stone, sit, knit, and list, listen to a book. <laughs> my mind wanders when I listen to yeah. a book. Like, I, I could listen to two chapters, and I'm going, what was said? I was busy thinking of this and that yeah. and that. <laughs> I'm very tactile, too. I need to feel the book and turn the page. Yeah, yeah. Mm. But, yeah. Other than that, uh, knitting wise, sorry, I kind of interjected a book there. <laughs> I was just curious. <laughs> yep. um, I don't really have much on the on the go. No, me either. I got lots of things in timeout baskets, but that could be another episode. So, <laughs> well, we'll have to do your timeouts. I don't have any timeouts at this point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have some wishes. I might. I still have a uh, yarn that I bought when you were out to make a hat or two because mm -hmm. I call it. So I I'm, think I'm getting closer to figuring out a pattern that I want. I've been kind of watching, seeing what I, I wouldn't mind something either where the brim flips up. I don't know if I have enough yarn for that. Uh, maybe some cabling up that type of thing. But uh, Yeah. Hats are a nice, nice palette cleanser. Quick knit. Yeah. Get that yeah. satisfaction of finishing something. Say, what do you think about, um, 
there's a few podcasters. I think uh, Knits and Pieces was one. There's a few others, but I can't remember off the top of my head. They're doing the color work cowls. Oh, yeah, Marie Wallen. It was that who it is. Yeah, I, think I was thinking Marie of Wallen. looking at some of her patterns to see what's what. Uh, my issue there is I don't, uh, mind you, I could solve that in a hurry. I don't have the stash of yarn to kind of well, pick they, and choose. I was like, looking at that Burra cowl, and you can buy kits, uh, host kits. Oh, I didn't realize and that. I didn't look to see how much, what the yardage was. You might have to buy a couple of those kits. I'm not sure, but the kits, I think, could be the way I would go. And it's, yeah. I'm trying to think, six or eight minis, I think. But I'd have to see what the pattern, and I love that, that burrow cow, burrow, burrow cowl. I really, really like the looks of that. And you knit it in the round, and then you Kitchener stitch it together at the end, so it's like a tube. Then you stitch okay. the tube together. Yeah. So you could make it as long as you wanted. I'd, I'd prefer a closer towel mm -hmm. instead of yeah. one that you're at. But yeah. um, I know I was looking at that because it's a year long knit along. Yeah, and I was thinking it probably wouldn't get done. Well, I know I wouldn't get it done this winter, but for next fall. Mm -hmm. And it probably wouldn't be a bad summer knit either. No. Nope. Like my issue is why on earth am I knitting this now when I could have had it made so I could be wearing it now? <laughs> well, we do get cool summer evenings. We do, and this will work. Yeah. But every year this, at least this cotton's thing. not hot like wool. Like I think that autumn leak be perfect. Oh, like even when I'm out at the lake in the evenings, it'd be nice. Yeah. And even spring, you know, our springs, you could probably get it finished and wear it up till almost June. Well, here where I live, evenings, once the sun goes down, it cools down pretty good. Yep. So definitely could wear it. But, you know, in my mindset, I'm thinking, well, a toque. Mm -hmm. I should be knitting them sooner instead of thinking them when it's, I mean, today it's supposed to be six Celsius, I think, or zero or like it's nice here. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, it's kind of, <laughs> got to figure out. But, but you rambling. know, if you, if, you knit a, if you knit for winter, I wouldn't be knitting a little sweater in the middle of summer. <laughs> oh, no, they're too hot. I think yeah, I tried this so, one. I yeah. took this one outside when I was knitting it because I did knit it kind of that time frame. Mm -hmm. Thank God, was it hot. My hands were sweaty. The wool was sticking. It was yeah. it was horrible. <laughs> Not a joy to knit with. and. Hot weather. <laughs> no, that was my my lesson learned there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but yeah, I think this autumn league will be nice to nice yarn to work with. So that's my thing. I'll say it now, so I'm accountable. I'll I'll do my swatch. You know, Cal's going ice fishing. He's going um taking his shack out onto the ice and have. He's planning on staying overnight. He's built a nice little wood stove in it, so be nice and toasty, warm and <laughs> got his food and all his provisions so i'll be home alone this weekend which will be nice give me a chance oh, okay. to do all those things <laughs> yeah i did find it was a little different starting with the cotton the feel it's not as uh not as stretchy as wool mm, right but once you get used to it it's it's pretty good yeah so just a, a little different Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's got no give. There's no nylon in it. <clears throat> no. So do you have anything else you'd like to talk about? Or? I think that's about it. I don't have... Oh, I know what I want. A show. What do you want? <laughs> My, oh, is that uh, adorable? I love the bell. I had thought about make, knitting little gnomes for everyone for Christmas, and it just... Again, too much. So... I, uh, my sister-in-law, Les, she um, inspired me and I made all my few friends and family members these gnomes for Christmas. They were a hit. I quite enjoyed them too. It was a lot of fun to make. Awesome. Yeah, that looks good. I like that, especially yeah. the furry the beard. beard. Yeah, it was, took me, I think, how many did I make? I made 10 of them and it took me just a little part of the afternoon to do so. 
Nice, it's fun. nice. That's fun. Yep. Very fun. I got looking down here at Bruno, if you're wondering. <laughs> Are you going to show Bruno to the to everyone? I can. I can. Come here, Bruno. I think you should. I think you should. There. My boy, Bruno. Yeah. Hey, Bruno. Bruno. Bruno, come here. <laughs> He always he's one of, me. <laughs> one of my rescues. Yeah, he's he's adorable. <laughs> oh. Anyhow, I guess we could probably sign off and thank sure. everyone who stuck around this long for, for joining us. We didn't have the freezing of the videos like past. Um, yeah, I got my system yeah. fixed up at home here. So and I boosted mine as well. I made sure mine was up and running better. I had to get a new modem. Mine was out of date. So mm -hmm. I uh, thought, well, let's get. So I'm happy that <laughs> they won't be looking at us. Making everybody seasick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for everyone that's stuck around and watched. And I don't know when the next one will be. Um, you're going away again on February, beginning of February? Yeah. So maybe so the end of February. Yeah, probably the end or somewhere in there will be the next one. I might pop up. Oh, I have one thing to say. Oh, okay. You say it. Yay, Canada Junior Boys oh. Hub Hockey. We got the gold. At the beginning. I was yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I meant to and I forgot. I did too. So I have to say, because this, I'm serious. This happened last night. I'm sitting on the couch watching TV. I got my phone next to me. I I think I was on StreamYard here kind of entering some banners. Not saying a word. Watching. There was a commercial break or something. I think they were waiting for the third period somewhere. All of a sudden, my phone starts up. It's never, ever done it before. And it starts playing. Um... Uh -huh. What did it start playing? I remember you telling me. Uh, yeah, there... I got a feeling. I got a yeah. feeling. You know. And it wasn't long after. Like, I think the period had started, the overtime. Because it wasn't long after Canada scored. It was just like, what the heck? Like, I have no idea what started my phone. Because I wasn't huh. talking. Weirdest thing I've ever <laughs> Yeah bizarre yeah I, i've never had that happen hmm. yeah but anyhow i must have done something i don't know <laughs> well that's like you know you talk about something and then all of a sudden you're on facebook or instagram or whatever and you get ads for what you were talking about yeah i think there's a listening somewhere in there but whatever <laughs> i don't know who knows yeah Co coincidence or whatever yeah but and, yeah so uh well we'll talk to you again soon tammy yep and uh so like and subscribe on? leave comments if you feel like oh, he's cheryl's pretty good at keeping up with the comments so and if please. you want you can send us an email mm -hmm. all right and happy knitting everyone okay we'll see ya okay bye-bye Bye.